Hey, welcome to Thematic Mechanic. Sean here. And I just wanted to share a little project that I'm starting right now and go through some of the steps that I'm doing. What we got here is these are the upgraded colonies for uh, Alien Frontiers. I found out that the domes pop right off. They come off very easily. Um, sheet of cardboard, some uh, painter's tape. Just fold it around sticky side up so they have a nice little place to hold on to and this holds on to them really well. Um, which will allow me to spray them down with what and also see they hold on pretty well. Now the reason I'm doing that is one is I'm going to use a matte finish um, particularly just using the Krylon uh, matte finish as a primer because uh, I want to try and keep I haven't done this before um, I want to try and keep the actual color the player colors and I figured this would be easier than trying to match them. I've, I've heard of other people using this as, as a primer base on uh, plastics where spray on primers don't always want to adhere very well. Uh, so I'm going to give it a try and see what happens. The other thing, this will allow me to spray them down, let them dry, and actually allow them to dry upside down because uh, I, I don't want build up down in the bottom around because of putting the, the domes back on. Um, and then... Uh, We'll paint the little city components. We're gonna. Uh, I'll show you the color schemes I'm gonna do on that in a, in a little bit. So, um, oh, and these were all uh, put into a. These were all washed. I just tossed all of them into a bowl with some soap and, and hot water and just agitated it more. A lot, quite a bit of soap, and then I would rinse, uh, drain some of that down. It was just a little bit of water and very sudsy, and I agitate that again. I did that a few times just to get off any release agent that might have been uh, left on them or from the, the molding process. So um, I'm going to go ahead and put this on and uh, then I'll show you the color schemes that we're, we're going to be using for, for, for painting the cities on here. Alright, the uh, matte finish is drying and I don't know why I thought was worried about pooling. It's like 85 degrees out right now. I'd have to be centimeters away and really dousing things to get it to pool. Um, but I, I do spray um, about eight inches or so away from various, hitting at various angles, let it dry for about a minute or so and, and do it again. So you can't really tell much by by looking at it, I don't think. Uh, but if you look really, really close, you can tell that, that there is a little bit of something on them. Uh, so for the colors that I'm going to be using, um, most of these here are some are older Citadel colors. Um, for the yellow, I'm going with this uh, burnished gold. It's a very bright gold. And then I'm going to hit it with an ogre and flesh wash as an old Citadel. So this is kind of a kind of a brownish red, um, which real gold tends to have a little bit of a, a red brown kind of look to it. And then that way it gives some good definition. Uh, there's not much really in the way of uh, details on these, um, but there's very good definition between the buildings. And I think with how bright this color is, this color gold is, uh, that some of those would be lost. <clears throat> and for the red, I have this uh, bright bronze. Uh, this is a Vallejo game color. And that's going to get hit with just a bile red, so a, a red, a very red wash. For the other colors, I'm going to go just with a silver, um, so Vallejo color. I don't remember which one it is. It might have been like a mithril silver, the, the name has come off. But it's, it's a very silvery, very kind of white silver. And then uh, for those colors, I have a, a green wash. Thraka green was the old Games Workshop color name. For the purple, I have a purple wash, a Leviathan purple. And then, of course, a blue wash for the, the blue. Uh, it's an azure marine. And I think that'll do really good of um, keeping the kind of colors looking like they are. They'll still be metallic, so they'll show up fairly well under the, the domes, um, but still provide some of that definition that can get lost when you have a lot of shininess on something. So, um, so I'll just get started. I'll do some painting on those and show you what that looks like here in a moment. All right, real quick. Um, Here's the uh, bright bronze, polished bronze, it was bright bronze on the red. And I just wanted to show this real quick. Uh, this is the gold uh, that Games Workshop, and uh, it doesn't go on quite as well. I, uh, metallics, you know, are generally very thick 
Um, I water uh, thin mine down with a my normal mixture of uh, matte medium, flow aid, water, and uh, the bronze is okay. But this uh, burnished gold from Games Workshop just didn't have as much cohesion as the Vallejo game color one here. So, and it wasn't. This is only one coat. Uh, I was thinking about going over with another coat, but I think what I'm going to do instead is um, it's not giving me quite enough, quite the contrast I was looking for. So, I mean, uh, this here is I went over with the bronze, especially since I accidentally poured it too much into my palette that I needed just to do this this little bit here. So, um, I had enough left over to do these other ones. So, um, as you can see, there's much more contrast there and let's see if I can see if it focuses not going to focus well I mean, either way you can still see that there's a good amount of contrast um, and then what I will do is I will go over with my second coat with this gold uh, and, and I think that'll give me the the deeper richer um, look that I'm going for. I, I may even go over this, depending on how that looks, I might even go over this with that. So that's probably what I'll come back after uh, getting all these other ones painted silver because those... So I'm, I'm actually not going to put the wash on the red because the uh, the red actually looks fairly good um, and I don't want it to get any any darker than that. Um, and if I, if I do the wash, I'm afraid it'll get get darker with that, but I'll, I'll see what happens if I decide to do this. So, all right, back in a second. Alrighty, here we are after um, putting on the washes. Um, as you can see, I went ahead and did do a wash, the red wash on the red, and now I'm doing the ogre and flesh, and uh, hopefully it comes across in the video. It's still wet, waiting for it to dry, but you can see what I was talking about, the kind of red-brown um, on gold. I, th I think it looks really, really well. Um, the other thing, I, I did the blue ones first, and I liked how they looked. They are a little bit darker, maybe, than originally I was planning. So probably, is that here? Uh, probably what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back and with the metallic colors again and uh, kind of highlight them. Uh, just to give that a little bit more contrast and make them show through with the uh, through the domes. Uh, you don't want to put too much wash on because it'll could look muddy. Um, get it out of places if it pulls too much. The other advantage that I noticed uh, when I did the wash is that for my metallics that I got down on the base um, putting kind of almost like a drop shadow around the very bottom uh, toned down that little bit of bright metallic that's at the very bottom I was trying to decide if I wanted to fill that in but it's just it's not really worth it considering it's just a simple one day kind of thing <clears throat> and it'll have the glass domes on it so a lot of the there's a lot of things that won't show up through there um, I did end up going back on these uh, with the uh, burnished gold just to brighten and, and yellow it up and that's probably what I'll do when I highlight when I come back through on these because I still want like I said you know they're going to be in those little plastic domes so um, I'll end up doing that I'm going to uh, seal them with a uh, gloss and then I'll put the uh, the domes back on and we'll see what they look like I did notice when I was doing these that there's these little, there are some little, really small, not very well defined, but there, there is some detail on the side. I was thinking about maybe putting some wash into those too, but um, I don't know about that if it's, it's really going to be worth that. So, all right, see what they look like when they're all done and dry. All right, well, here we have what I'm going to consider finished. Um, I did end up going with a highlight back over uh, the the tops of the buildings kind of. <clears throat> I was afraid 
of just doing the original metal color back on top that I would lose uh, some of the coloring from doing the wash. Uh, then I remembered I had this, which is a metallic medium. So this is just acrylic paint medium and metal flakes. There's no um, dyes in here for color. Um, it comes out really super thick and then I mixed it with my thinning agent that I had uh, that's been sitting there for a while that wasn't that thick. And then in essence I did basically a dry brush um, kind of technique uh, on the top of them. <clears throat> it gave it that shine so that it really shows up well uh, through the through the domes. Um, brings out the contrast, add a little bit more depth I thought. I, I think it came out looking pretty good. So it turns out I'm actually out of the uh, gloss sealant, acrylic sealant. Um, so I'm not putting anything on these. It shouldn't be a problem because of the domes. Uh, the part that's got the paint on it is never actually going to get handled it, uh, at all. So um, I'll take some close-up pictures and put them on here at the end. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Thank you.